Okay, Alan here. As you can see, we just finished with the session today and uh, I want to show you how to properly clean and maintain your Flyer One right away after session. First, unlock and remove the battery from the battery compartment. Don't forget to use the carbon key attached to the remote strap. So we've already removed the battery and put it aside. Grab a fresh water hose with regular water pressure. And start rinsing down the board. From top to bottom. And be as thorough as possible. Make sure you run fresh water through all the screws and fasteners. Turn the battery locks and arrange each one for about 10 seconds. Don't forget the battery compartment. And the master connector. I want you to put a lot of emphasis on the master connector. Give it a good 30 second rinse to get rid of any salt buildup. Do not use high water pressure. It may force water into the mast head and damage the electrical components. Make sure you get the handlebars as well. Next, flip the board upside down. Now grab your Allen wrench and start removing the wings. Don't force it if you have trouble removing the screws. Lubricate them with a little anti seize before you continue. Put the removed wings aside. Start raising the fuselage and the motor. Aim the stream at the screws and holes. The grill covering the ESC. The hole next to the grill is another important part to focus on. You can see water coming out of the other side. That's because water runs through this hole to provide cooling to the motor during operation. So it's more susceptible to salt and debris buildup. Now let's move toward the rear. Give the propeller a quick rinse and we're done with the power unit. Wash down the mast and the bottom of the board. They are made from corrosion resistant materials, so you don't have to spend too much time here. Now let's disassemble the mast from the board. Loosen the fasteners a bit and start turning them simultaneously. Put the screws aside and start washing the screw holes and the mast head. Remove the mast, flip it over and tilt it around to drain water left inside of the power unit. Down, now set it down to dry. Lift the board, move it around to get rid of excess water.
Put the board down next to the mask to dry. Now let's move on to the battery. Start by giving the battery a quick rinse. Now just like what we did for the connector on the mast, carefully wash the battery connector for about a half a minute. Next, let's wash the buttons. Press the button a few times while you're washing it. Do it for both buttons. After the rinse, dry the battery with a clean rag. Use Q-tips to dry the battery connector and the terminals. After drying, clean the terminals with Q-tips saturated in rubbing alcohol. Black suit on the Q-tips indicate water was in the terminals during operation. Please check the O-ring around the connectors for leakage. Replacement O-ring is available in the tool kit. There you go. There you have it. Set the battery down for the top to dry. Last but not least, the remote. Pull the trigger a few times while you're aiming at it. There we go. That's how you properly disassemble and arrange everything down after session. Uh, now you just need to leave them down there to dry. But make sure that you don't expose anything uh, for a long period of time under direct sunlight because that would accelerate the degradation process and that's not something you would want. Regularly conduct visual inspections on the battery to check for exterior damages. If you're going to put your flyer one away for an extended period of time, please charge or discharge the battery so the power level is at around 70%. Recharge the battery every two to three months to make sure it maintains 40% to 70% of power level. Put it into a fireproof bag specifically designed for battery. This bag is available at our official website or an authorized dealer. Put the battery in a dry, cool and ventilated place away from any flammable objects. If there is an issue with the battery, and our support team determines the battery is completely dead and a replacement is required. Please submerge the problematic battery in a container filled with 18 liters of water as soon as possible. It drains the battery power and prevents fire.